Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a ColourPop Wednesday video and we are going to be reviewing the new Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Collection. Mine just came in today. I had a lot of you guys asking me if I was going to review this one, which of course you guys know. I love reviewing, especially the collabs. I get really excited and this one is just a uh, adorable so i definitely wanted to go ahead and get this up as soon as i could i'm going for the christmas theme today the red and green i actually have this pullover on this is actually from the boutique i work at it just says i'm dreaming of a white christmas i believe this one is restocking if you guys are wanting this one um i think it's restocking this week i'm not totally sure we had it last year at the boutique but it's distressed and it's super cute so if we have it available we don't uh, the day I'm filming this, but maybe later this week I'll try to link it down below. Um, we just released a fun Christmas collection on the website, so I'll have that. My discount code as well, Leah Janae 10. That's the boutique I model for if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, thought I would wear this, and we have a fun festive look for today. But I wanted to go ahead and share this new collection with you guys that is launching tomorrow. I do not have any prices yet, but I'm going to be going over everything. Swatches do this look for you. This is a little car that came inside. It's so cute so it's basically based off of the classic Rudolph movie I believe it's the first one I don't know I think it is I don't know if they redid that one but now this totally makes me want to watch the movie tonight so I might just have to watch the classic Rudolph tonight so let me share this collection because it is just adorable so the first thing we have of course is the eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like so cute i love the box on this one i love that it has kind of this like swirly kind of pattern it almost looks like it's just like storybook so adorable and just says rudolph the red nosed reindeer and then you open it up and here is the packaging and it has these little textured snowflakes on it which kind of glitter a little bit ColourPop seriously kills it with their packaging it's just perfection little presents on the back for all the shadow names and then we have the actual colors inside there is a mirror in this one and we have rudolph and i don't know who the girl one is we have the abominable snowman i think that's how you say it up here and then here is the eyeshadows how fun is this i think this is a really cute christmas color story it's like christmas but keep it a little bit neutral so for every day you can do the red and green if you want but then you have kind of your basics in here as well so i love that i could definitely see myself using this like the whole month of November December I think it's really cute I feel like ColourPop has been creating some really fun and unique color stories lately I don't think it's like repetitive as it used to be and this just is too fun so I really love the colors that they included and that they still did keep some red and green but keeping it with the neutral colors as well so it's very wearable we also have this product from soul body included and this is one of their shimmering body powders I basically use Use these as highlighters so this is in jingle 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 it has the little Rudolph outline on the packaging here it's red and this is the shade here it's so beautiful it's definitely more on the subtle side though so this is not like an ultra beaming highlight this is more of your natural lit from within type of glow I think it is stunning before we get into all the different lip products going on here I wanted to include some of the extras in the collection so we do have a soul body product and they have this it's called humble bumble it's the Mega Mood Melt Cool Mint Bath Soak. I am so excited to try this from them. I remember they did something like this in the Powerpuff Girls collection. This one, smelling from the packaging, it actually smells very fresh and cologne-like, but this looks so cute and fun, so I can't wait to try that. And then... They have these little ears, which I'm assuming that you can buy, so I might go ahead and put these on too, maybe for like the thumbnail or something. I'll put them on like at the end, but how cute is that? And then into the lip stuff, we have two of these little ornament guys. So first thing is the Clarice Lip Mask. That's who that is, Clarice. So we do have a little lip mask here, which looks like this. And it does to me smell very like a vanilla mint. It's a really nice scent. I always really like these lip masks. I think they're nice. And it's also in 
a little ornament so I like that they're doing these new ornaments for like the Christmassy stuff I hope they continue like year after year because I would love to have like a little color pop tree like in my makeup room and just have these little ornaments hanging on them because I have the ones from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection I just think it's super fun so that's my goal with these is to have a little tree in here with these little ornament boxes and then we also have a lip scrub this is the Rudolph lippy scrub so it looks like this so if you guys do have the ones from the Powerpuff Girls collection you probably don't need these unless you really just want a Christmas themed like vanilla mint kind of scent but it's essentially the same thing all right, I do have these little lip kits as well. Look how cute. They kind of go together like that. Um, so we have the Rudolph one, which is There's Always Tomorrow lip pencil and also Lux lipstick. So Rudolph has like the berry toned one. It's kind of more reddish berry. I have it on now. It has a light purple packaging here with little snowflakes on it. And then here is the shade of the lip liner. And then the lipstick is actually in this really fun red sparkly packaging as you guys can see here it does say Rudolph on the cap and then this is the lipstick it does have I forgot to mention little snowflakes embossed in the lipstick and those are the two shades together so this is more of a berry red not really a true red we do have a neutral one as well, which is Clarice. It's called I Think You're Cute. Again, kind of same packaging here, but it's more of a nude. So we got a nude lip liner. It's actually more cool toned. So I like that they did that because it does match with some of the cooler toned shades in the eyeshadow palette. And a lot of people just really want neutrals who don't wear red. So I like that they did a red and a neutral in this collection. And then here is the lipsticks. So those are the swatches. I think this is going to be such a pretty nude. I decided to go for the red look today but I am loving this lip combo here I think that's so pretty I love cool tone pinks and then we have this lip gloss set as well it has a little elf on it so this is the couple of misfits and it has three luxe lip glosses in here this is the packaging on those they have the little Rudolph embossed snowflakes on the cap. Really cute. They have this clear one that's called Hermie. It almost looks like greenish, but I think that's literally just going to add just sparkle pretty much. The middle tone one, this is kind of more on the peachy side. It's called Misfit Elephant. These don't add a lot of color at all, just FYI. It's mostly just sparkle. And then this one might add some color. This one's called Dolly. It's a little bit of a darker pink. So we'll see. A little bit, but honestly, not much. Unless you really layered that. These just add a little bit of shine to the lips. It would have been nice if they did these maybe in a single form. Um, just because I feel like essentially they're all going to look the same. But they do come in this kit. So that's pretty much everything in this collection. It is a pretty big collection here with a lot of different lip products and of course the eyeshadow palette plus the fun extra things as well. Let's go ahead and get into this whole makeup look I did today. Okay, guys, into the Rudolph palette here. How fun does this look? I'm going to take a little crease brush here and we're going to start with, I'm going to do Eat Eat in my crease. I'm going to build that up with the shade Little Buck here. So far these shades seem really creamy, very blendable, and they have pretty good pigment as well. I'm going to go ahead and try out Christmassy Time in the outer corner. This one does take a couple times to build up to get a true kind of emerald like green but it doesn't like patch or anything like that like it's a nice quality one i just wish it had a little bit more pigment it just takes some building i'm going to bring it a little bit towards the center as well with my finger i'm taking this like limey green the elf practice and i'm going to put this in the inner portion Using these greens together kind of reminds me of the Tinkerbell palette that they came out with. All right, for lower lash line, I want to try doing some red to make it Christmassy. I'm going to start with the full power, like burgundy shade down here. 
and then I'll add handsome nose this definitely isn't the most cohesive look but I wanted to pull in the red and green a little bit not my best <laughs> I don't really like how this red and green honestly looks right now so I'm just kind of cleaning up a bit with my leftover concealer brush just kind of smudging that in there and I might put a little brown over top of this because I'm not really feeling this cohesively together I'm thinking maybe blend it out a bit more it might be prettier I'm gonna take ready Santa down here and add that a little bit over top that way it's just a little bit more neutral more subdued and just kind of blending that out all right I like that a little bit better with the not so crazy bright red I am going to clean up with concealer too and put mascara on and I'll be right back so most of my makeup is done I figured I'd go ahead and try out these lip scrubs real quick so this one is the Rudolph lippy scrub smells amazing it's like a very sweet peppermint light peppermint but this will be awesome for the winter months I always like to use a good lip scrub before I put on my lipstick I'm pretty sure you can eat this one too that's why I just I'm just gonna lick it off so it kind of tastes like plastic but it's fine <laughs> a little bit of sugar and it leaves um really really moisturized there is a lip mask too the lip mask also smells amazing I don't know if I'm gonna put that one on right now let me see what the texture is like oh it's similar to like if you guys remember the one that was in I think the Powerpuff Girls collection and the Hello Kitty snow collection it's very similar to that where you can definitely wear it alone as like a lip balm it adds a little bit of pinkness to the lips smells so good too I think it's the same scent as the scrub but yeah I really like their lip masks I think they're really nice and I love wearing them just as an all-over lip color it just makes them look really plump and juicy while that is sitting let me try out this shimmering body powder I'm gonna use this as a highlight today called it jingle 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 I think it'll be light enough that it should definitely work so this is from Soul Body. I'm just going to dip in there. It has a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. And we'll apply this on the cheekbones. This is definitely more of like a glittery highlight. I don't think I've tried this formula before. So I'm just having to kind of pack that on because it's not as beaming as the Super Shock. But it's still very pretty. It just gives like this hint of glimmer. I guess I shouldn't say it's not glittery. It's more metallic is what I should have said there is so many lip colors here but I think I'll do one of these lip kits so there's I think you're cute and there's always tomorrow so I think I'm gonna go for more of the red since the other one's very neutral and for Christmas I just always think of red even though it's kind of a lot with this look I just want to see how these apply so let me apply the lip pencil This slip is looking a lot more like berry. I usually just do it along the outside and then we'll go in with the lipstick, which is a lot darker so that hopefully this isn't like a super berry color because this is totally going to clash, but we'll try it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's like really pink. I'm really surprised they don't have like a true red in the lip kits, but they did just come out with a bunch of reds in the other holiday collection that just recently came out but I do think it looks better once I kind of added that in it's just a hint more of a raspberry red rather than like a true red but I prefer a little bit more, more true red but I think it looks okay with this look we'll just throw some gloss on top just for the heck of it so I'm gonna take the misfit elephant I think it's called It's probably nice I don't wear a lot of dark lip colors and mostly that's just because they're kind of messy you know especially with the lipstick and gloss like this like 
if you eat anything it's gonna smear all over the place but it does look really pretty if I do reds I usually prefer like a liquid lip but I do think this is gorgeous with the extra shine so it's very glossy and pretty so that's pretty much the makeup look we're doing today let's get into my final thoughts on this collection all right so I did put those little ears in if you guys want to see to add to the look it was a little difficult to get them straight because I do have a side part but I feel like a headband would have been a little bit easier but I did throw them in for the video my little reindeer antlers anyways I did want to go over the collection and share with you kind of my favorite products here so first of all of course the palette that's definitely gonna be kind of my must-have item of the collection mostly because I am a palette girl and I just think this is so cute for Christmas like I mentioned earlier I love that it's like Christmas tones but also neutrals I wear neutrals on the daily so this could be a great everyday palette for the winter season it's just adorable I do wish the green was like a little bit darker I feel like it is on the lighter side it took quite a bit to build up I was a little bit worried swatching like the beginning of the palette that this palette was just gonna be very very light tone but once I got to the deeper mattes it does add a lot of depth and you can really deepen up the look I thought most of the other matte shades were really nice in here and I'm really pleased with the quality for the most part besides the green I just wish was a little bit darker as I mentioned but this is such a cute one I personally think it's worth picking up especially for the holidays I've never really seen a Rudolph collection yet so so I think that's pretty cute and it's just you know classic Christmas I love to see that these little ornament lip products are pretty cute as well they're definitely not must-haves if you've already had some from previous collections we have seen them quite a bit like I think Lizzie McGuire also had it the Hello Kitty collection I believe also did from last winter and the Powerpuff Girls so if you have those you probably don't need these but if you're like me and want to like get these little ornaments to make a tree I think it's really fun and they are good quality if you haven't tried those yet I actually really really like this highlight as well especially for a more natural glow I think this is pretty it might be one of my favorites for the fall and winter season I think the tone is beautiful it does give me winter vibes as far as the little lip kits go I don't think you really need both per se but they are pretty different if you want to do more of a red and also a nude I personally like the nude one better I love a cool tone nude pink I do feel like both of these match the palette pretty well though so it's very cohesive um, but I do wish that the red was more of a true Christmas red rather than like a berry toned I do feel like it looks more red on me right now once I added the gloss and everything but I do prefer the Clarice one which is I think you're cute and then for the lip gloss kit I don't think this is necessarily a must-have mostly it's for a collector you probably already have a million of these already in your collection like I do they're pretty much all the same they look very similar on the lips so it's definitely not something you need multiples of I would rather go for the actual like lip sets where you can get the lip liner and the lipstick over the gloss kit I'm also really liking the add-in of this like bath melt thing I'm really curious in trying this out if it's gonna be more of like a moisturizing kind of bath product we all kind of like to do some of those like self-care nights trying out different bath bombs so I think it's really cute that they had that now these little ears are not on the paper so I don't know if this is just a PR thing obviously if this is for sale it's definitely not a necessity but it is kind of fun I'm glad I can wear them for this video and if I do want to be festive for Christmas we got this it'd be cute for like a little ugly Christmas sweater party or something like that but I'm not sure if these are like included in the collection or like for sale because it's not on here anyways that is pretty much my thoughts on this Rudolph collection sorry for the lighting in this video it's like nighttime I hate filming at night but I had a super long photo shoot this morning in you know daylight savings time now it gets dark so early um, and I don't have like the best lighting but everything should still show up true to color on here it's just my background that's a little bit darker but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this fun ColourPop video I am really excited about this collection I really think it's cute I wasn't sure about it as at first because I'm not like the biggest Rudolph person but seeing everything I think it all just flows really well together and the packaging on this is phenomenal I love the colors in the eyeshadow palette so I think this one is definitely a win but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys